We're still very lucky people, and we've got a lot to be thankful for. Don't leave me. Sarah, when are you coming out? Are you sawing something in there? Right. Get that beautiful little ass over here. Man, I'm very tired. Just the thing. Don't. What's wrong? It's a very big step to leaving your wife. You could have consulted me first. You were the one who asked me to leave her in the first place. Not yet. We've only known each other two weeks. You said you knew right away. Oh, Brian, you've got a kid. Uh, he could live with us. I have not even met him. Oh. So that's your problem. You're worried that Nicholas won't like you. Well, don't worry. He will love you just as much as I do. Brian, I'm very tired. Who is it? Peter, it's me. Maggie. Maggie? <sighs> Maggie, is everything all right? Fill me with your little babies. Oh, my God! Um, I think you'd better come inside. <clears throat> No, 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 no! By all things godly, no! What are you doing? Peter, you have to give our relationship a chance. What? I've only just realised. I love you. Max, I, I, I love you too, but, but, but we're friends. Exactly. We're perfect for each other. You see, most marriages are sparked off by a physical attraction that wears off within the first year. We've known each other for ten years. We know we get along. We can learn to love each other sexually. It's perfect. No, please, please keep that on. Maggie, I just, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just, just please give it a chance. Maggie, Maggie, your offer is very tempting, but I do not want to put our friendship in jeopardy. You just don't fancy me. No, 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 no. Maggie, you're... Very attractive and, and intelligent and sexy. It, it, it's, oh, how can I put this delicately? It's just that I'm not really in the vagina business. You slept with Sarah. I know you did. Oh, my dear, the Archbishop of Canterbury slept with Sarah. And it was years ago. Are you telling me you're gay? <sighs> well, I, I've never disguised the fact that I'm a bit of a whoopsie. But, to be perfectly honest with you, I do believe I'm what is commonly termed bisexual. Which is by the by, because actually I no longer sleep with men or women. Oh. Oh. If I did, I promise you, you'd be right up there on my wish list, together with Michelle Pfeiffer and River Phoenix. I'm so Look, Ma Maggie, why don't you go back to your room and we'll pretend this never happened. And don't tell anyone. Not a soul. You must understand all the 
touch of your hand makes my pulse react That it's only the thrill of boy meeting girl opposites attract It's physical You must try to ignore that it means more than trying to work it off before morning. I used to be bulimic. A year ago, I'd be in a bathroom throwing it all up. I'm much healthier now. Oh. What are you doing down here? Oh, I just came down to drink myself into a coma. Get turned down by Peter? You if you tell me. I've had every man problem under the sun. I don't think, I don't think you'd understand. Honey, therapists call me for advice. This is different. Different schmiffrint. Talk to me. He's a bisexual. I was married to a bisexual. He left me for another woman, the ultimate put down. I'll run tomorrow. So, tell me what happened. I read this book, which said that the... <laughs> if you know someone already, that that was the ideal person with which to have a, a long-lasting relationship. Good theory. So, Peter is someone I love and trust. Marvin! The book said to be direct. No, that's subtle signals can be misconstrued. So, so I, I went to his room and took my clothes off. <laughs> that's direct. What happened then? He said he wasn't in the vagina business. That's direct too. Has Peter ever 